Welcome back to another Three Bourbon Years. This week we have a little friend with us. JD. Uh, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof with the uh, pimp chain. <laughs> <laughs> Some hardware. Oh, this man. guy is cute. What, what can we say about him? You um, can stow this in a mailbox. You can stow this in a purse. A purse. <laughs> Sneak it into the, the ball game. <laughs> I love the shape of the bottle. I like that it's a 375. It's really cool that they sell these smaller bottles. Let's be real. More brands need to do this shit, because that's really cool. Jack Daniels changed some initiatives recently, so we are reviewing it this week. <laughs> They're no longer an enemy of the people. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a Bound Framen product, right? Yeah. Technically, yeah. Um, Wait, really? Yeah, yeah Brown Foreman. Yeah. Wow. Um, Brown Foreman. And uh, you know, everybody knows Jack Daniels. This is their Single barrel, barrel proof. So they have a, a <clears throat> black label, which is their select, which I think is, is that around 100 proof? Yeah. I can't, I think it's right around there. But yeah. the, these can vary anywhere from like 125 to like 134, I think, yeah. something like that. Uh, I think you can even find some 39. I've been looking for them at like in the 30s and they're all like 127 now. Yeah. Like I, I can never find them. I don't know if you guys hit a gold mine, but um, this one in particular, it's an older one from 2021. It's 131.8 proof. Um, about $30 for this little guy. So it's about so 50, 55 bucks for the 175. It's a lot of money for a little guy. Um, the point is you maybe can not. try a bunch of different ones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, I think it's cool that they're, they're doing these single barrels like this so that you, know, you can try it at a lower price and mm -hmm. um, see and if you like it. When you're done, your wife's got a perfume bottle. Exactly, so. yeah, and the bottle is Exquisite. Great. Way to recycle. <laughs> Very cool. Way to upcycle. <laughs> you're gonna burn a hole in your neck there. It's funny, you're like, yeah, everybody who, uh, everybody knows Jack Daniels, and I was like, I, I wanna say, everybody who went to college knows what Jack Daniels is. <laughs> Everybody's seen a toilet because of Jack Daniels. <laughs> We've been close and personal to a toilet. I'm gonna but, do my spiel. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, sorry. <laughs> if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we reply to every single comment. We also did start a Patreon, so we release uh, just additional content, uh, pretty much behind the scenes footage of each video. Um, it's five bucks for a, a membership over there. It helps the channel a big time. Your name goes in the credits of the video. You get to do some voting on some of the videos that we do. Uh, and yeah, like I you said- You get a chat get, with me. Yeah, you get a chat with Mitch pretty much day and night. Whenever so. you want. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you want, Whenever I'm there. You want. I'm there, I'm there, man. I'm so, there for you. Th these bottles, right? Yes. Can, can be can be dragon's breath, mm. yes. right? But um, mm. typically I think like, right, these are some of the highest quality whiskey bottles that are on the shelf. So you can find anywhere. And yeah. they're everywhere, yep. right? And so that, that's kind of the appeal here is that $30, you don't have to buy an entire bottle, you can kind of keep your price down, but you could maybe get gold out of one, right? And, and oftentimes stores will have a, a row of them, right? And so if yes. it's a really great There's one, you can go back and pick up a couple more at a reasonable price. So we've had some that are great, some that are okay. Um, but I feel like I've never tasted one that is less than okay. So. Right, yeah, they're all, so very, even their select Very high great. floor, right? Yeah, yeah, their, their single barrel selects are actually pretty good too, but um, so we do like Jack Daniels products. We, you know, we tried the Barrel Proof Rye a little while ago, we were talking about what can we do with Jack Daniels. Obviously we'd like to do a Koi Hill or um, some crazy crap that they release every year, but we're having a hard time finding Jack Daniels. I'm sure you guys are too, so. Um, we realized we hadn't done a barrel proof uh, bourbon on the channel yet, so we wanted to get after it because we've been a little fanboys for this. Every every so often we get a pour of it, but yeah. it does. Uh, it is like diesel fuel. It definitely <laughs> definitely is potent. Good old Jack. But yeah. let's uh, let's get into the nose. Oh yeah, that's like Just sweet caramel. Yep, sweet. that is straight caramel. Sweet caramel and soaked, um, soaked oak log. It's one of those individual wrapped caramels that you Some see like, like in wax paper. Like that's yeah, what yeah. I'm getting. You know those, uh, like you go to a, a Christmas fair or something like that and you get those roasted peanuts? In like the oh yeah, bone, right? yeah. That's kind of what I get in here. I'm getting like a peanutty vibe. It's not really, it's not too much of the nuts. It's more like the, the <laughs> it's more of the sweetness on the nuts. <laughs> you like the sweet nuts, huh? I do. Oh man. Also one of your nicknames, Mr. Sweet Nuts. It reminds me of like a payday or like one of those salted nut rolls with the nougat in the middle. Yeah, it's like a candy bar. Yeah, yeah. I get a lot of oakiness, personally. It's oak. All right, yeah, I'm getting some oak influence. Vanilla. Hmm. It's just extra potent. It's, you know, for 130 proof, 
I mean, it is potent, but like it's not overly offending. Now this bottle's been open for like two years, so. Basically 132, yeah. Well, about two and a half years. It's really weird. I get like those frost covered pretzels. I don't know. That's what I like those. Are you talking like animal cracker those type frosted? White, yeah. Like, yeah. Keep your open a box of those and like stick your nose in there. Well, I want so frosted fun. animal crackers. Yeah, it's like it's almost like sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean for the proof, I can get my nose in there too. Like you said. Not yeah, over, no, it's not, not overwhelming. Not, just it's pleasant. It's like <clears throat> a burnt, burnt caramel. Dude, yeah, I'm getting like hardcore caramel. Yeah. Like that's my. Oh, should we do it? Yes, let's, let's do, get it. Into it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. do it. All right. Cheers. Wow. Oh yeah, just like up front, and then a really nice mellow finish. Whoa, that finish really kind of, like up front, I got a lot of nutty. It does pick up into Ooh, a little then really like at the end. A little delayed hug. Uh, a little roller coaster action. It's like some jalapeno juice on the end there. The jalapeno juice is gonna feel good coming out later. <laughs> Jalapenos? Jalapenos? I had mango, unrelated note, I had mango habanero wings the other day. Why? And I had eaten those before day with like two, three meetings. Definitely a mistake. Good work. thing I wasn't presenting, but I had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to like turn your camera off. I'm just like, <laughs> and type in the chat. I'll be right back. Yeah, I, I actually in the chat. I'm like, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right back. BRB. Yeah. And then I was gone for 25 minutes. I had mango habanero wings. <laughs> like, so sitting in there pouring sweat, just screaming. That would be so hilarious if you typed that in your BRB. <laughs> oh, yeah, mango mango habanero wings. <laughs> Every, you know everyone would be understanding. Yeah, guys, I don't know if Mitch like, is coming oh. back. Uh, he's, he's been gone for about 45 minutes. Or Mitch, are you on the line? Oh, that's right. He's still in the bathroom. The information is just not relevant to you in those meetings or what? You're just like, ah, I can leave. <laughs> I mean, I had to go. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> this is a board, but I can't be here right now. You can't stop the business. Okay, what are we getting in on the... Am I getting some of that banana-esque? I think so. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of nuttiness up front. Maybe a little banana. Like it's a banana nut muffin. Yeah, it's... That jalapeno thing is kind of spot on. Yeah, like it's a spicy jalapeno it's a, pepper finish. Pepper, yeah. yeah, pepper finish. Up Peppery front though, it's all sweet. That that burnt caramel comes through heavy, like up front right away. And I think you're right. Like there's a a little little bit of banana. There's that classic JD banana, but that's the beauty with these is like when you I feel like when you proof it down, that banana is the one thing that really stands out. But when you get yeah. this high proof, you get all that other stuff. I feel it, it it's interesting because you get that initial front palate mouth burn and it tapers off mid palate and then it comes roaring back on the finish. Yeah, yeah. Which is like, it's usually not like that at all. It's usually, you kind of miss the front, it's mid and back or all, but you know, it's, or all front. Mm -hmm. But to have this like boom, gone, boom thing is kind of cool. I feel like I'm gonna get hiccups because this thing is just frying my insides. Honestly, <laughs> the best way to describe it I think is literally a uh, wow. caramel piece that you had over a bonfire with jalapeno ju juice squirted on it. <laughs> it's pretty pretty legit. Legit. It doesn't sound appealing, but it, Believe like, me, it, it tastes actually pretty tastes good. good. Like, yeah. It tastes yeah. pretty damn good. It's like, again, like the, kind of like the nose, it's like a sweet and savory thing is like kind of... Boy. Yeah. All right, so but $30. Front of my mouth is raw. Like This one will, <laughs> this one will do you raw. This is the one thing about Very this, dirty. and I'm gonna say before we kind of get into Try By Deny, is I look at this on my shelf every so often that's and when I want to because you're an alcoholic what I oh yeah every night I look at my shelf <laughs> and I'm, I'm scanning like the children. shelf and and I look at this boys. bottle and it just like I know it's gonna beat the living piss out of me right <laughs> and I end up like grabbing some you know 110 proof or even like an 80 90 proof something yeah. And then by that point, I'm like, do I want 130 now? Like, by, that, by that point, you're already hammered, about to pass. But it's nice to have one of these on the shelf, because there are times where I do. But yeah, no, I get hammered, you know, <laughs> twice a day. That's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has... It's not that bad. How, how else are you supposed to cure a hangover? <laughs> but when you, go, when you go to a doctor, they say, how many drinks do you have per week? And I say, eight. And they go, oh, is that per day? And I'm like, per hour? I got the giggles right now, you guys stop. <laughs> eight? <laughs> eight? Eight what? Eight bottles? Is that per hour <laughs> or day? What are we talking here? Just eight. It's whatever you want it to be. It's eight. Oh, what's a two ounce pour of whiskey considered? Is that a drink? <laughs> yeah, it's a, 
It depends what you say drink. How do you define drink? Yeah. <laughs> First we need to define drink, and then As soon as you say that, they know just, you have an issue. Right, they're like, all right, I'm just gonna put it in Is this shots or morning mimosas? Or are we talking about after dinner drinks? What are we talking about here? Cocktails, glasses of wine, beers. <laughs> okay. So, should we get into it? I, I know what I'm gonna say, yeah. Let's Drive by tonight. Wine hunt. Why not? Go for it. You want me to go? Yeah. I'll go. Uh, yeah, I'm a buy. I'm a buy on these. I have been since day one, since the first one I tried. Uh, it's been one of my favorite bottles. I think the only issue with it is like Mitch said uh, a few seconds ago, is that um, it's not always the bottle that you're gonna reach for. I think just because the, the proof is where it's at and sometimes mm -hmm. these can, um, right. they can kind of melt your face sometimes. So do be a little bit careful if you're new into whiskey and you grab one of these, um, just take it easy, take it slow, work your way up to something like this uh, because it, it can be um, a little bit much on the taste buds. But uh, once you get into that barrel proof stuff, this is kind of like the <clears throat> creme de la creme, right? Of, of barrel proofs, I think. It's right. really hard to find a bad one of these. I've never actually had a bad one. Um, I have had better than this, to be honest. So. Yeah. You and I actually had the same bottle at one point. That we was, did. It was one of my favorite bottles I've ever actually tried. Um, Ooh, so that was, a, that was a 2021 was really version and it was unbelievable. How many times are they releasing these a year? Uh, they come out throughout the year. Okay. So it's not, it's not an allocated release. I think it's whatever a like store that. really wants one. They'll yep. just send them. So just a lot of them are single, single barrels, so they've been selected. This one was just like a special one that was hand selected apparently by Chris Fletcher, master distiller at Jack Daniels. Don't know what that means, but stores will get different ones. Um, but this one in particular is okay. I wouldn't say it's great, but at $30, uh, totally worth a try if you're looking for something a little bit more impactful. Yep. Uh, yeah, go for them. Try one if you see one at the store. Remember $30 for 375. Yeah. So yeah, so it'd be like 50, because we typically do reviews for one. Right, uh, right. Seven times. Um, so I am gonna be a buy on this too. I think um, to have a readily available single barrel barrel proof is uh, hard to find. I think like you said, these are mostly good. Now we've tended to reach for like the 130s just because you know word of mouth says those are the best, but then we, we are sitting here saying they're hot as balls and we should, you know. So maybe I should pick up that 126 or 127, maybe I'd like it more, but um, no, they're really good. Uh, they can vary, which is really cool too, depending on you know their single barrels. So um, I think it's a really cool thing, really cool bottle. Jack Daniels always is killing it, so yeah. I approve of this message. What say you? I have the power. <laughs> uh, I am gonna be a buy. Oh. This is our first like three buys. In Pineapple a Express? Huh? Um, <clears throat> it's the good stuff. Well, well you know what mine went to? Snickle Fritz? I couldn't find something I didn't really like about it. Mm -hmm. You were trying. I was trying. Couldn't. And I, I couldn't find a dislike. And also, you go to a bar and you want to pour something, you're going to be spending $15 to $40. This is $30. And you're going to get a lot of pours. And you're going to get a lot of pours. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I don't know, mm -hmm. for some reason, like I was thinking a lot of economics with this small little tiny bottle, but then I was comparing it to like, okay, a try. Why would you go spend $15, $20 to try it or whatever a bar is gonna charge? Yeah, here's your try bottle. It's, it's kind of a try yeah. bottle in itself, really, for $30, yeah. right? It's like $30 it's, try. Yeah, so I think you gotta grab them. I, I love, you guys know me. I love the, uh, <laughs> we're gonna do a bunch of different things throughout the year and yes. throw them out there and you guys can find them, right? Like yeah. that's huge. We were just talking about before this video. We cannot find anything right now. It has been no. the driest year of the Which driest Which is weird years. because like you hear the go around of like right. people aren't buying what they used to. Okay, then where the hell is everything? Right. So that's where I get like, into, what? if we can't find stuff, we're gonna have to start resorting to stuff like this. That mm -hmm. is, you know a little bit different, single barrels but mm -hmm. available, so. And they're doing good too. Go buy it. Jack is back. Jack is back, baby. Jack is back. Back in black. No more DEI. If you got a Koi Hill, send one to us. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Uh, well, that's gonna do it, folks. Uh, have you been able to to at least try some of these? Do you usually go for the the smaller uh, bottles, or do you usually get the uh, the larger version? These do also come in just the regular standard 750s. So, uh, let us know in the comments down below uh, if you've been able to find one that you truly ching, like. Ching. Drop a comment. Don't forget to follow us on Patreon as well. Go over there and check it out. Get your name in the comments, or not in the comments, but in the the. Uh, the rolling credits of the video yes, at the end. Yes, yes. 
and uh, get to vote on some. Be enshrined in the Bourbon Ear Brotherhood. Additional reviews, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, that's gonna do it. All for one on one for all. Cheers. Cheers. All right, just film and like I'm gonna do it when I'm ready. All right, go for it. Into your mouth first, and then swirl it around the top. Mm.